Welcome learners. Let's take a little dive into my favorite subject, event management. Okay, what is event management, and how, how uh, is how exciting is this whole profession? Okay, let's begin with my introduction. Who am I? My name is Amit Singla. I am the founder CEO of Scotch and Water Innovations. We are an events and a mice company. Started way back in 2001. We are almost two decades young or matured today. And our specialization, the the area where we work heavily in, is business events and mice events. Okay. But today, out of my sheer experience, I will throw some light on the entire all the facets of event management for your better understanding. In this session, you will learn about the concept of event management. How do you define events? You know, what are the skill sets required to becoming a great event manager? What are the types of events uh, or specializations which exist around us or in the industry in the market? Second, uh, sub, uh, you know, um, uh, segment of our uh, session today is key elements of events, and third and final segment will be the designing of entire event experiences. How do you create ex uh, great event experiences from understanding expectations to developing? concepts to delivering and designing and delivering those experiences in the end so let's begin with our first segment which is what is event management we will go through this uh, segment under three uh, uh, parts well, first we will uh, define the segment understand the skills and understand the types of uh, events which are there in this segment so different authors uh, have defined uh, event management in their own way. A lot of uh, different definitions uh, you will read across. But in my understanding, in a practical uh, understanding, uh, uh, let's understand what is event management. So to begin with, why are events being held? Okay. So as per me, events are being held to achieve a predefined goal for a predefined audience. Okay. Now that goal could be launching a new product that goal could be uh, a wedding the goal could uh, goal could be a celebration the goal could be uh, announcement of a news or uh, roll out of a new strategy for the company or uh, or, or a key messaging uh, for the entire team okay so different goals but for a different predefined audience every event can have a different kind of audience for it okay but why events why not something else? Why not uh, other mediums of communication? Because events are a great medium to communicate through sheer experiences. And when you communicate something through experiences, they make a greater impact. They make a greater impact on your mind, and you you know you you uh, you you remember those messages for much longer time. Okay. So what are those uh, experiences? The experiences of touch, feel, sight. You know, uh, uh, taste and and here. So these are the kind of sensory organs which come into play when you create those experiences. So overall, events are nothing but projects which you manage from understanding the brief to creating, uh, you know, uh, solutions for them and then executing those solutions in the end. So it is a big project management over and over again for every single event. Okay, so that's what is event management as per me. So now let's throw some light on uh, what are the kind of skills required uh, or skill sets required for being a great event manager uh, for uh, you will need these skills to, uh, to as you go along you know, in your future in this industry. First and foremost, okay, now in no particular order, all of these are important, but let's start with planning. Okay, you cannot move even one single step in this industry if you are not a good planner you need to be planning each and everything that skill which you need to imbibe from today what you do how you communicate your things to do how you tick your things to do you know uh, everything has to be planned when you set timelines for it so your planning skills your organization skills and time management these will go hand in hand okay so how uh, when you uh, put your things to do put a timeline to it uh, you know, uh, how much time will you take to complete it and then complete it, make sure you complete it within that time. All that is so much so important in this industry. When you start running projects for clients, you will not have time. You will not be able to go back in time and do things. So you will have to do things. You will have to stick to your timelines. So planning everything around your you know, ecosystem is very, very important. Now, 
second big uh, factor about this industry is that when you are driving projects you will be working late hours you will be eating at odd places you will be sleeping maybe for a couple of hours in a day or sometimes you are working continuously through days uh, you know uh, there are uh, difficult working conditions because you know in the whole whole uh, ecosystem in the whole scenario you put yourself at the end okay because the project is most important that takes the center stage okay so sometimes if you are not passionate about this industry you might feel that you you, you might you you will feel tired you will feel you know uh, you know uh, lost if you are not passionate about this so the passion is again very important to drive you through such difficult times when you drive projects okay third uh, biggest skill which will come to your uh, you know uh, hand is flexibility and multitasking now there will be times when you will be uh, required to pick chairs or plates or uh, manage consoles or uh, register people uh, do photography uh, you know manage stage manage backstage manage green rooms uh, talk to audience uh, talk to attendees uh, Uh, welcome them escort them i don't know there are there are lot of uh, things lot of uh, tasks which you may be required to do while you grow along in this career so which means that multitasking is foremost okay but with flexibility you cannot say that this is not my work every work is your work okay in a project you can be required to do anything and you should be flexible enough to achieve it with same ease okay you are also required to be a leader okay leader of different sorts leader to lead your team not just your team but vendor partners team also to lead clients uh, uh, initiative also to lead client because you are the master of your uh, of the skill set uh, you know you know in that particular project so the leadership skills are important creatively you need to be superlative why do clients hire you okay do you think somebody who makes an automobile or food product or a mobile phone or a software uh, product do you think they cannot uh, if they get down to it they cannot manage an event they can they very well can but why do they hire an event manager or event management agency to uh, drive projects for them because they think that through sheer experience their experience they will bring the best creative solution for their need okay so you need to be creatively superlative in whatever you do and whatever you drive because that only can achieve achieve the different that only can become the differentiator for you in the marketplace okay now as you are creative you also need to be resourceful at the other end because that creativity also has to become reality on grounds uh, uh, when you execute the project and that will become reality only if you are resourceful only if you know who will execute that project for you you need to know your vendor partners you need to work with them you need to network with them you need to understand how they work you need also need to know lot many more of them so it's not uh, necessary that every time the same partner will be available for you so you need to know lot many more of vendor partners for same skill sets uh, in the market so resourcefulness will matter at lot of times in fact <clears throat> if you uh, think of another big skill which uh, which is which may, you may not see on the screen is being a crisis manager okay so i call my team as event managers uh, and crisis managers because every uh, event is 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 very dynamic in nature all the elements are loose okay all the elements are moving parts okay uh, like your vendor partners your venues everything is new so there are venues you, you might be working for the first time every uh, the vendor might be uh, you might be working with, the, with a new vendor for the first time so there are so many loose so many open ended uh, things so many uh, moving parts that there is always how much ever you plan there is always a possibility that there is some crisis small or big okay in the end or during the middle or in the beginning and how you handle it is will is where you it will show your skill set plus your resources will come into play at that time okay now to manage all this financial management is something which you will need which you need to understand you need to understand what what is what you are charging the client how you are paying to your uh, how much you are paying to your vendor partners what is the profit margin your you yourself or agency or uh, your enterprise is earning uh, in the whole process it may not be the core responsibility uh, for you as event manager but you still need to understand how this whole process is driven so that the profits are not hampered anywhere okay 
communication skills uh, today uh, the primary language in business events uh, is accepted as uh, english uh, uh, and uh, your linguistic super, uh, you know uh, supremacy uh, your spoken language your uh, written communication skills is very very important if it is uh, the uh, social events private events uh, like weddings and other, uh, other things uh, local languages also take uh, you know are required but uh, english is a primary language when it comes to business events so you need to uh, know them uh, with, with with ease last but not the least and it may not matter at the beginning okay now do you develop network as you go along okay but why is it important now why am i mentioning it now because if you don't know it now you will not focus on it so as you go along keep developing your network because that will come handy that will add to your resources resourcefulness of you to handle problems to handle situations to put up shows you will need to develop your network and that network will also get you further business so at both ends at the spectrum of the at, at the at one end of the spectrum at the client's end and at the other end of the spectrum at the vendor partner's end both sides you need to develop your network so that you do not you know pause anywhere you do not get stuck anywhere in your projects and you drive great superlative events in the end now let's understand some types of events and specialization of uh, you know events uh, and this uh, under this industry which are there industry has evolved today so much that uh, there are agencies who who survive and drive only one type of events uh, under this segment also so for example there are thousands of agencies across the world who drive only exhibitions okay exhibitions is such a huge large segment similarly at the other end of the spectrum there are agencies who drive only weddings and social events then there are agencies like ours who do only business events and mice events like meetings conferences product launches and town halls okay then there are agencies who do only ip events and you know i know some agencies who do only two projects or three projects in a year and that's about it or maybe one project in a year and that's about it but those one that one or two projects is so big that that keeps them busy 12 months of the year okay then there are agencies who do only activations and promotions who specialize in that go to market strategies so so there are different specializations available now you need to uh, understand all this and also pick your choice of work what you like to do that this little uh, peek into these types of events will you know help you understand what you like and how you want to take it ahead in your career so uh, first biggest segment in this was meetings conferences and conventions which is major chunk of business events these are being held to uh, for their own entire internal employees or external uh, consumer or vendor partners or uh, partners uh, anybody but it could be to uh, you know uh, roll out a new communication there can be multiple uh, aims and goals for for a conference but this is one of the biggest segment under the business events globally and it again it requires event managers like you and me to put the, put these shows together for uh, for from anywhere from 50 people to 5000 people product launches so every company who has market presence might uh, you know uh, require to launch a product now and then it could be anybody from an automobile company to a telecom company to a fmcg food pharmaceutical company uh, anybody okay they will require to launch products uh, you know now and then okay and to launch those products to help them launch those products you come into picture i come into picture and we conceptualize and drive these projects for them another big segment of this industry is public events these are the kind of big ticket events which are held by political parties for political rallies you know government events your national days events and uh, your, your media house uh, houses also uh, you know hold such events for uh, for consumers for public exhibitions as i as i told you earlier this is a big segment uh, globally there are big large size exhibitions which are held across the world on different uh, you know industries like healthcare tourism automobiles so different segment where thousands of people travel from across the world to that particular city that particular uh, town that particular uh, country uh, to participate in that exhibition and so this is a whole ecosystem by itself which drives so much of uh, revenue for that country or that that city you must have heard uh, of uh, events like auto expo in delhi or or uh, other trade fairs in uh, pragati maidan uh, and other parts of the country so these again, these are all uh, great big exhibitions and similarly they are held across the world whether it is germany 
Germany or Dubai or Singapore or Americas, there are big exhibitions that held across the world. Sporting events, one big segment. There are, uh, you know, uh, uh, again, a lot of agencies who specialize in this segment alone and do only this. So, drive from driving a corporate sporting festival, sports festival, sporting events to events as big as IPL or Olympics or football uh, World Cups or uh, cricket World Cups or all those sporting World Cups or World, uh, you know, uh, local, national, international uh, sporting events. They are again driven by event managers uh, across the world and even in India now. Uh, so that is again a big avenue for uh, you know event managers to look at in future. Weddings and social events, one of the biggest segment uh, in event management in our country, not just in our country, but globally. Do you know uh, there are hundreds of agencies in every city of India who do only weddings and social events and they don't have time for anything else because they are so busy. There are, uh, you know, uh, thousands of people getting married uh, every year uh, across the country and they everybody needs event managers today because one, they want unique experiences to be created and secondly, they don't want to spend time and energy into into creating, you know, making arrangements. They want to enjoy those, uh, that, that one, you know, uh, one time opportunity of life, one time experience of life, rather than spending that time in organizing things. So again, very big segment of this industry. If it excites you, it's a, again, very exciting uh, segment to be in. In IP events, intellectual property events. So what are these? These are unique idea events which are created, the concerts, the shows, award nights. Okay, These are primarily created by event agencies uh, and put together with the help of artists, performers, uh, speakers, all that for commercial gains. So they, here, here, either you make it a ticketed show or you sell the rights to organizations. At the end, agencies or the event owners drive commercial gains out of these such events. Okay. Activations and promotions. So in markets or marketplaces or malls, you must have seen uh, different uh, activities happening, different games happening, you know, some products uh, being spoken about. So why are uh, these these things are done by companies, organizations to activate their products in the market, to new uh, activate their new launches in the market or talk about their product strategy in the market. OK, very, very effective way of uh, going to market. Uh, you know, the news travels really fast. People you know uh, participate in certain uh, co concepts in such uh, activations and you know they, they they take home the messaging of the product or the program effectively and it, it they remember it for a long time so very very big segment and important segment of this industry uh, one of the, uh, again big segment is social special events like festivals celebrations community events and religious events in India, there are such big festivals which are globally uh, spoken about, written about. Festivals like Jagannath Puri, uh, you know, uh, festival. Festivals like Mahakumbh uh, festival, where lakhs, crores uh, of people participate, uh, you know, in those festivals. And not just one, but hundreds of agencies, you know, work together in tandem to put such festivals. Festivals like Pushkar festival, and these are Indian festivals. There are festivals from all around the world, uh, which which uh, happen in every country, which are driven by uh, hundreds of agencies. Okay. Now, let me throw some more light into uh, some numbers. These numbers really are exciting. They excite me. They will excite you. You know, roughly every day in India, somewhere, uh, put you know, there are some 10,000 events which are happening every day in India, which puts the whole number to roughly around 50 lakh events happening somewhere in India every year. Okay, that's how this big this number is. And that's the window of opportunity for each one of you. Okay, that's how big is this industry. As the size of industry, if I speak about, uh, as per the latest EMA and ENY white paper in 2019, the size of the industry was pegged at the organized size of the industry. The unorganized is far bigger, but it's not you know uh, written about here. But organized segment of the industry is 10,000 crore, okay, which is poised to grow to 20,000 crore by 2025, at compound annual growth rate of 14 percent, which is one of the highest across the spectrum of industries. Okay, that's how important and how uh, big a contributor this is for the industry. One another big number for uh, you to remember is that directly event management industry in India employs 10 million people. 
and indirectly if you include fnb uh, partners and other ancillary services in it it employs 50 million people that's how big is our contribution to the gdp of this country to the economy of this of our country and similarly this not just in our country but every country every uh, developing or developed country this industry segment plays a big role big contribution to the gdp now let's move on to our second segment which is key elements of events so key elements of events the first big element of events is the client the producer of the event okay now he is someone who has a need who needs uh, who needs somebody to drive that project drive that uh, requirement for him okay somebody who is experienced somebody who can give him ideas somebody who can give him the best execution for that need okay so but he is someone who puts his money onto that uh, need onto that project okay so he is uh, element number one and then element number two which is organizer which is you and me where who partner with this client or a producer tell them this is what we can drive for you this is what we will create a, uh, you know uh, create a plan create a, a whole experience for this event and then manage it deliver the whole final product to you third big element of this uh, segment of this industry is venues so across the country you will see venues venues like five star hotels uh, you know banqueting spaces uh, auditoriums uh, convention centers um, you know uh, uh, stadiums uh, public grounds all such places these are you know big number of venues across the country which play a big role in hold you know uh, holding these events and uh, you know uh, you know making it an ecosystem for all to grow ahead fourth big segment is infrastructure you know hardware software required to execute the events so your entire your hardware of uh, stage sound light audio visual uh, photography videography all that and the soft soft skills of human skills of, uh, of technology you, you need to deploy to uh, run these projects okay so that's comes comes under infrastructure fifth big uh, element is content you put the whole show together whole uh, uh, infrastructure together but what goes on stage that's again that's very important if there is if you have not planned uh, pro, uh, what goes on stage properly your event, you will not have a great event so what does your market ma master of ceremony speak what what is your uh, you know the content of speeches different speeches on your stage what is your presentation talking about or what are the kind of performances you have what what performances are those are they connecting to the audience have you profiled your audience properly uh, and uh, thought about uh, you know uh, uh, entertainment accordingly so all that will matter the content as per the audience uh, has to be curated and put together that's very important that's fifth element of this uh, segment sixth and most important if i can say so uh, element is the target audience without whom there is no event they, you cannot uh, you know put a show together to the empty hall you need people to watch this event that only gives you you know uh, you know gives you the delight in the end okay you put event together for people so target audience is sixth biggest element for for events let's move on to our third and final segment which is event experiences and how do you create event experiences how do you understand uh, the whole whole process I call it a very sacred process of uh, event experiences. Let me take you uh, through that and uh, it will really help you uh, going forward. I call this process to know who, why, when, what and where. Okay. Now it starts from understanding the expectation of the client. What do they want to do? What is the kind of event they are looking at? Who are their audience? What is the, have, you know, the profile of the audience? or uh, you know uh, the age group uh, the male female ratio uh, so that you understand the psyche of the audience okay so entire brief understanding the entire brief and expectation of the audience is very important as a base for any project okay so once you do that okay then you and your teammates sit together and do a thorough research about what can happen what other people have must have done across the world over uh, such requirements or such things so why because with the help of that research and that uh, brief and expectations which you have understood you will deploy your creative skills your team's creative skills to conceptualize an event and different parts of that event okay now 
once you do that then you design experiences across different parts what happens when people walk through the main door what happens when they walk through the corridor what happens when they get, go uh, you know reach the uh, registration uh, thing or the or the welcome area you know what are you serving them uh, as food and beverage what happens when they move into the uh, you know uh, banqueting space or the hall or or the stage area you know what are the kind of different experiences you give them to uh, give them at different touch points so that is what you design uh, across the event okay once that is done then you visualize the experiences all this whatever you are designed thought created all that you visualize for clients for them to see and approve that yes this is good to go and you can go ahead and execute this for us in this particular cost okay so you do that you get approvals from clients on and on costs and uh, what you want to execute and then you get into implementation strategy okay so you need to you need to really strategize and understand how will you execute this project on ground because trust me execution is the key you might have uh, created castles in 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 your uh, designs okay but it is it means nothing if you cannot create them on ground okay so execution is the key so a uh, great execution will happen from great strategy so you need to know who are your partners who will ex- work for you who will uh, who are the different pieces of this event who will uh, you know uh, uh, come together and you know put the whole show together for you so those partners uh, are they experienced enough have you uh, checked with them have you worked with them earlier what are their strengths and what are your strengths which can come together and uh, you know uh, solve this jigsaw puzzle who are the performers uh, you have chosen has those performers uh, been identified and verified by the client uh, so all these pieces have to come together and uh, you form a strategy and then you get down to you know uh, cho- you know finalizing your costs for every single piece of uh, piece in this so for every single partner for every single uh, performer you finalize the cost as per your budgets because at the end your enterprise needs to make a profit out of it you need to be very very uh, uh, peculiar about what you buy and how much you buy at okay and in the end final execution and monitoring is what matters you will uh, execute and monitor each and every single piece as per the plan as it has been promised to the client then only you achieve delight at the end of the consumer if you monitor each and everything and execute as per the plan so ladies and gentlemen uh, please understand great events is never an accident it is a result of thorough commitment to excellence intelligent planning and focused effort you can do that if you are passionate if you are if you are a good planner and if you if if the delight on the consumer's face really excites you in the end thank you it was great taking you through this uh, my, my favorite subject of mine called event management i would be happy to answer any questions do write to me or your coordinator and i'll be happy to answer thank you